What's up, YouTube? I'm just going to do a quick rundown of the hot topic of the day, which is going to be uh, swept under the rug by lawmakers, pushed through, and and gross gross theft and blackmail and fraud is going to be committed against the U.S. taxpayer. A couple things first, if you're new to my channel, I'm Canadian, okay? Uh, what does a Canadian care about what's happening down here? You guys are the self-centered, self-imposed center of the universe. Everything that happens down there, it, it has great effect on everybody else, unfortunately. Um, and I say unfortunately because you live in a little sphere, a little bubble. Um, everyone outside of that bubble, uh, we find your president to be a complete and utter embarrassment to democracy itself uh, and, and to the... To the, he's a stain on the United States of America. If you put up everything that is great about America and then you put Joe Biden beside it, um, it, it it's it would be like it would be like it would be like spray painting the Statue of Liberty, okay, with like a swastika or something. Like that's it, it, it's unbelievable that you guys have this guy. Who has an incredibly high level of cognitive decline? Uh, he he should probably be in an institute or something. Um, I'm not joking. This isn't a joke. Some you know FBI hiding in a in a bunny rabbit suit is is guiding him around. He doesn't answer questions. He's not a leader in any sense of the form. He's responsible for the red button. You know. He's he's the guy that will eventually put a signature to these spending bills that you guys are trying to push through, and I want to I have some windows queued up. I want to just go over um, some of the stuff that I've noticed a pattern and a trend and why I think that it's just it's just all clickbait. The news gets the media gets uh, get some clicks out of it. They get to advertise on every website, get a bunch of ad revenue while people look into it. Nothing changes, and and the gross negligence. Um, and malfeasance um, will just happen anyways. So currently, guys, and if you don't know, okay, I'm going to give you a couple definitions in case you're like, what the hell is malfeasance? What, what is an omnibus? Okay, an omnibus is just a volume uh, containing several novels, or it, it comprises of several items, and malfeasance is a word for wrongdoing, especially by a public official, so U.S. lawmakers. Your current debt, guys, is thirty-one point four six trillion. You want to add, you want to add five point four one percent to that. That is your all-time debt. Okay, of 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 existing America exists. America has debt. That's your all-time debt. You're just gonna plunk down five percent of that. Um, you you bring in about four point nine trillion annually. Okay. And you're gonna you're gonna spend 135 percent of that, okay? This is U.S. debt clock. If you've never seen it, it is like legit. Uh, it, it tracks a lot of statistics. You're gonna spend a dollar thirty six for every dollar that the government brings in. I don't know about you, but if you have a credit card and you use your one, if you have two credit cards and you use one credit card to pay for the other credit card. And that credit card to pay for that credit card, uh, it's not very long before the creditors are calling you and you're probably going bankrupt. Now, picture that as your whole country, okay? Why is nothing going to change? Why is this just uh, a talking point? Well, in, in, in 2018, you have representatives saying, we can't read the bills that are being assigned to us. It's 2,232 pages, and we have 18 hours. Why do you only have 18 hours is my first question. Why, why are you being given a bill so close to the deadline that you don't have time to actually read it? Why are any of you signing it when you haven't read it? Uh, if you sign a document, it's acknowledging that you've read it. Anything otherwise, to me, would be a criminal act. They said that for this 2,232-page document, you would have to read 124 pages per hour. 124. That's about two per minute, okay? This is a legal text. 
You'd have to understand what you're reading, and it's going to be very fine print. It isn't going to be big, bold words like this. It ain't even going to be this big. Okay, and it's going to be exceptionally wordy. There's going to be, you're going to have to reference other bits and materials, and there's going to be, you know, little number ones, little number twos, notations next to damn near everything. Uh, not only that with this omnibus, they, so here's the size of the current one, right? It's massive. They also have online content amendments that they have to look at. It's not just what's been submitted. Now, now let's go ahead to 2020, and I remember this one specifically. This one is about twice the size. 5,593-page bill. I just remember this. I, I blocked her on Twitter. I had to unblock her just to get a tweet. Uh, she's a psychopath. She is also a stain on your, on your system. Uh, total lunatic. Uh, and I can say whatever I want about you guys down there because it's, it's an outsider looking in. Uh, un, unbiased opinions, right? Uh, 5,593 page bill. Okay. She admits that she didn't even read it. She didn't read it. She said, I had to sign it anyways. We needed to sign it. They, they blackmailed all of America with this. With that, you were blackmailed and defrauded 5,593 page bill for what was it? 1.4 trillion. They had a few hours. They had a few hours. Try to zoom this. Lawmakers had a few hours to read 5,593. I'm no rocket scientist, but 5,593 pages in a few, which would be three, in three hours would be 1,864 uh, pages per hour. Okay, so you would have to read 31 pages per minute. I don't even know some people that maybe don't even read 31 words per minute, let alone pages, okay? Um, so they passed $1.4 trillion just so that they could hand out all your, your stimulus last year, uh, two years ago. I remember that, okay? Um, let's just say that they had, they had 12 hours. First and foremost, guys, I don't know anybody in, in Congress, in the House, in the Senate, in... in in the U.S. government, in the Canadian government, that works twelve-hour days. They don't work. They don't even work like nine to five. I don't think they might work like. They might work like, eleven to two, eleven to three. But let's just say, for the sake of argument, that they had like a full, solid, once in their life, twelve-hour workday. Okay, five thousand five hundred ninety-three pages in twelve hours. Would be 466 pages an hour. Would be 7.8 roughly pages per minute of legal documentation. Hiding COVID relief behind a 5,600 6, page bill is blackmail, is extortion. They extorted U.S. taxpayers and no one did it anything about it down there now push so this is just her talking about it more pretending to play pretending to play uh you know the good guy but then goes ahead and signs it anyways okay now move ahead to now move ahead to now okay december 20th 2022 you're doing another 1.7 trillion dollar bill uh, i believe this one is four thousand something pages where is it i did see it uh, four thousand one hundred fifty five page document guys <sighs> if you go if you go to Oh, where is it? House Floorcast or Congressional Chronicle, right? You can go to C-SPAN and you can watch. Uh, yeah, you can watch the floor. Like, look at look look at the speakers. They're convened. They're they're going to start at noon, guys. Going to start at noon. What a joke! What a joke! 
here's here's a history of and you can watch you can watch all your bills being put into motion every day. Cspan.org. There's also the other one is just house.floorcast. Uh house floorcast, okay? Either one. Can Canadians can do this too. You you can watch bills go into uh into effect. They do the Pledge of Allegiance and then they just convene. They were there for like five minutes. Okay. They, they run everything down for you. Go ahead and watch. I, I urge you to watch. I was watching some of the marijuana stuff for, for the stock market a while, a while ago. It was kind of interesting, and you can watch them vote. It's really cool, actually. It's better than watching 90 Day Fiance or some of the other garbage that a lot of you out there pollute your minds with, or just sports or whatever. Like I like sports like anybody else, but when, when your government is literally trying to bamboozle you uh, and extort you, it might be a good idea to wake up a little bit and understand where your money is going when when you can't afford to put food on the table and they just hand out 40 billion more dollars to ukraine another country you guys are going to protect their borders and you're not going to protect your own and no one's going to ask the questions that need to be asked it's a little it's a little odd as a canadian to see that happening and and you know we have our issues as well but i mean like the scale that you guys take things to is absurd it's uh it's something you would read about and think like, this is a tabloid. This can't be real. So you need to stop looking at lawmakers as well as like left and right and stop just when you go to vote, just stop voting for a party because that's what you always have done or you think that that's the right thing to do. You might need to like actually figure out who's doing what. Now, these, these people have all been paid more or less by the people that put them into power. And that wasn't you. All right. Uh, it, you know, they're, they're, the constituents, their constituents are supposed to be the ones that put them into place. But a lot of the times it's whoever is, is donating them money. So now they're, they're kicking it back in these spending bills. And that thing, that, that needs to change too. What I don't understand is why, why doesn't the U.S. government get a class action lawsuit on behalf of all Americans that sign up for it? You can sue government. You, you can you can arrest government officials. You can incite a, a, a sitting president or not incite. Um, what's the word? I'm slipping my mind now. Indict. Whatever. Whatever you guys tried to do to Trump there. You, you can do that to him, but you can't do that to any of these people that won't read the bill. And then they sign it and then they take money out of your pocket and put it wherever they want. This money didn't come out of thin air. They're not printing it. They're literally taking it. From you. You pay your tax, they're taking your money. That's like taxation is theft, it is the oldest phrase that I know in, in, in relation to something like this, because that's what it is. Taxes came about during World War II. Half of these idiots out there don't even know anything about World War II. You can watch YouTube and watch these young kids. They they think Pearl Harbor was in the 80s. Like they're completely oblivious to history. So taxes were brought about during World War II and World War I to help fund the war. They weren't supposed to be permanent. They were supposed to be temporary. <laughs> and here we are now where like 60% of your income is some form of tax at this point. You're lucky to keep 40%. You, you're going to have your income tax. You're going to have property tax. You're going to have sales tax. You're gonna in Canada. You're gonna have harmonized tax, GST, PST, income tax, property tax. You might have a condo board, or you might have a. Uh, I guess that's not really tax, but. Uh, oh wow, well, carbon tax. Woo, let's tax the air. Uh, environmental fees. Every, you have taxes on top of taxes. The fact that you have an income tax, anything after income tax is actually tax on top of tax which is multiplicative in nature it's exponential like like it's to the power of it it's a tax on a tax it's not simple it's not simple math right it's complex math so what what it, are we headed are we headed to are we headed to a time in history where you just your your they tell you look you're going to work 60 hours a week if you even want to be a part of society. You don't get paid. 
we tell you what you're going to get. That's what you get. Here's your food. Here, like total tyranny, total communism. Like communism would be like, you would be begging for communism. It'd be like begging for fascism. Like one world order, new world order, all this stuff. I, I don't see how, how do you get out of it? They're, they're, they're going to force this recession. Win, lose, or draw. Like, every, I normally cover stocks on my channel, okay? And the market is lagging severely. With, with all these rate hikes that we're seeing, Bank of Japan raising Bank of China, Bank of Canada, record rates. When they tell you that they do a 50 basis point hike, okay, guys? It, it isn't half of a percent. If I'm at 4% and I raise half of a percent, that's like 13%. Half of a percent out of 4% is 12.5%. 12.5% raise, guys. It isn't a half of a percent. It's 12.5%. If it's 4.5% and it goes to 6 next year, or set, let's say 7, right? 4.5 to 7. 4.5 divide 7. It's a 64%, uh, 46% raise, 46% raise, right? I just ruined basically the whole video. Anywhere between 46 and 56%, regardless. Forget about the math because I'm just trying to throw something in there. But you, <laughs> all of this stuff is multiplicative. It ain't, it ain't additive. And, uh, and it's certainly not simple math. Like, uh, when, when you're spending more than you're bringing in to the tone of, like I said, 36% on every dollar, uh, it's not long before this is literally all going to come, uh, crashing down on the U.S. But it's, it's like nuclear fallout, right? It's going to hit, it's going to hit everyone around you. Any business partner, Canada. Any trade partner, defense, everything, right? Uh, and just the future of our generations to come. I, I mean, I'm only 39, so I, I mean, this could affect me for 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. The ramifications of this aren't going to be immediately felt, but they're damn sure going to be felt in short order uh, moving forward. And, and that's, a scary, that's a scary thing to think about. Um, something you might want to think about as well, guys. Thanks for watching.